Hi, Rainbow's Elf fans. Tonight, I'm reading Pepper Pig Story Treasure. It has multiple stories. But the story I'm reading is called Peppa Pig and the Muddy Puddles. Mommy Pig and Daddy Pig are tucking Peppa and George into bed. There is so much rain, Pepper says. That means there will be muddy puddles to jump in tomorrow. Mummy Pig says with a smile. The splish splash splash of raindrops on the windows sings. Pepper and George to sleep. They dream of muddy puddles. Splish splash splash. <clears throat> It rains and rains and rains. The next morning, the sun is shining. Daddy Pig runs out to jump in a muddy puddle, but he lands in a big pool of water instead. Oh, how did this water get here? Daddy Pig asks. And where are the muddy puddles? asked Peppa. Quack, quack, quack. Splash! Our house is on an island, says Peppa. Oh dear, says Mommy Pig. What will we do? Dun, 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 dun. Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig arrive on their boat. Ahoy there! Grandpa Pig says, Wonderful boating weather. We're going to the store, says Granny Pig. Can George and I come too? asks Peppa. Yes, we'll do the shopping for everybody. Squawk! Polly can remember our shopping list. She's very good at that. Granny Pig says, Who's a clever parrot? Squawk! Who's a clever parrot? says Polly. Polly is very good at repeating what people say. Peppa, George, Grandpa Pig, and Granny Pig, and Polly motor across the water. It's fun, but there are no muddy puddles. Each house is on its own island. They go from house to house asking everyone what they need from the store. Susie Sheep asks for chocolate. Squawk, chocolate, Polly repeats. Granddad Dog needs a newspaper, and Danny Dog wants a comic book. Squawk, newspaper, comic book, Polly repeats. Grandpa Rabbit wants cheese. Squawk, cheese, Polly repeats. What? <laughs> Grandpa Pig's boat arrives at the supermarket. Hello, says Miss Rabbit. What can I get you? Polly knows, Peppa says proudly. Squawk, Polly opens her beak. Who's clever parent? Who's clever parent? She says. Polly has forgotten the list. Don't worry, says, Pe says Peppa. I remember. So they get what they needed and go back to deliver everything. Cheese, says Grandpa Rabbit. Thank you. A newspaper and comic book, says Granddad Dog and Danny Dog. Thank you. Chocolate, says Susie Sheep. Thank you. Chocolate for dinner, asks Mommy, she asks Mommy Sheep. Okay, I would say the food, but... Yeah. I wouldn't care. I would just let her have chocolate for dinner. What? It's an island. Peppa and George are very sleepy when they arrive back home. Did you have fun? Asks Mommy Pig. Yes, says Peppa. We got lots of things at the store. We got something for everyone. Snort. But Peppa is sad. She didn't get what she wanted. There were no muddy puddles at all. Pew. 
The next morning, the sun is shining brightly in the clear blue sky. Polly Parrot comes to visit. Grandpa Pig's boat is stuck on Pepper's front lawn. Oh, Granny Pig says, looking out from the boat, the flood is over. They all look around. The flood is over. Ugh. The houses that were on islands yesterday are now back to normal, sitting on the top of their hills. The water that Peppa and George boated is gone. And at the bottom of their very own hill, they see... Guess. Put it in the comments below and pause the video before you do. A great big muddy puddle! Squilch! Hee hee! Hee hee! Squilch! Big enough for everyone! I hope you enjoyed this book! Make sure to share and subscribe! Have a great night! Be good!